Hi guys, this is Mohammed P at tutoroncheck.com. Today we are going to talk about asymptotes. So in general, we have uh, three types of asymptotes. Uh, the first one is a vertical asymptote, the second one horizontal, and then uh, the third one is oblique or a slant asymptote. So let's just start with the first type that is going to be vertical asymptote. So vertical asymptotes okay so this is basically a type of asymptotes that's gonna show up um, as a vertical line that the function is not defined at that so let's consider the function f of x equal 1 over x minus 2 so if you look at the graph of this function uh, well, let me graph it so at x equal 2, the denominator becomes 0. So at this point, we are going to have a vertical asymptote. That's a vertical dashed line that the function, it's going to be uh, infinity or undefined as uh, x approaches to 2. So the function looks like this. As you get closer to 2, the function goes to positive infinity on the right and the function going to negative infinity from the left. So the general way to find the vertical asymptote is that you set the denominator equal to 0 and you solve for x. And that gives you the values that you are going to have vertical asymptotes for it. There are some type of functions that they have vertical asymptotes, but uh, they don't have any denominator to set it equal to 0 and solve for. So for example, if you look at the graph of uh, tangent of x, the tangent of x, the graph looks like this. It's something like this. And at x equal pi over 2, which is here, and at x equal negative pi over 2 and also at many other uh, x values if I keep adding 2k pi to each of them I would get a bunch of the vertical lines that the tangent of x approaches to infinity at those values so x equal pi over 2 and x equal negative pi over 2 uh, are vertical um, asymptotes for the tangent of x or there is like function like ln of x uh, at x equals 0 if you look at the graph of the ln x which is something like this as x approaches to 0 from the right side the function goes to negative infinity so x equals 0 is going to be a point uh, at which the function is going to have vertical asymptote so in general if I want to define the vertical asymptote is a line is a vertical line at which the function is not defined and it becomes either positive infinity or negative infinity so that's all you need to know for vertical asymptotes now let's move on to horizontal asymptote number two horizontal asymptotes so for horizontal asymptotes um, you need to find the limit of the function as x approaches to either positive or negative infinity for example let's look at y equal 1 over x so if I graph this function it would be something like this also if you notice it has vertical asymptote at x equal 1 that's really obvious but the things that we want to focus on is a horizontal asymptote if I take the limit of y as x goes to either plus or minus infinity I'm taking the limit of 1 over x as x goes to plus and minus infinity and that's basically 1 over infinity is going to be 0 so if you notice the line y equals 0 which is the x-axis that's the horizontal line that the function is approaching to as x goes to positive infinity or as x goes to negative infinity so the horizontal asymptote is a horizontal line that the function would approach to it as x either goes to positive infinity or negative infinity I can actually give you another example for this let's say 
f of x equal 3x squared minus 5x over 2x squared plus 1. As x goes to plus and minus infinity, since the top and bottom they have the same degree, we read the coefficients here. So the line y equal 3 over 2, that's going to be the horizontal asymptote for this function. So um, there is there is a question here. What happens if I take the limit of the function as x goes to infinity and I don't get a real value? Let's say I get infinity. Uh, we can actually look at this function f of x equal um, x squared minus x plus 5 all over x minus 1. If I take the limit as x goes to plus or minus infinity, it doesn't really matter. Uh, since the degree of the top is higher than the degree of the denominator, I would get uh, infinity on the top, and that's going to be infinity because the rate at which the, fun the top function is approaching to infinity is way faster than the bottom because the bottom has degree 1. So that's why the whole thing grows faster and faster, so it goes to infinity. So the question is, so what should we do in this case uh, when we have uh, the result of the limit equal to infinity? So I would say in this case you should go and check the third type of the asymptotes which is a slant or oblique asymptotes. So number three, a slant asymptotes. So in the case that you have uh, a function like f of x equal x squared minus x, uh, let me see, what was that, plus 5 over x minus 1. When uh, you take the limit and it becomes infinity, you should do the long division. So I'm going to divide x squared minus x plus 5 divided by x minus 1, doing the long division. x squared divided by x. Uh, it gives me x squared. Actually, it gives me x, and then I multiply back, I get x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. Then I subtract here. I would get 0, and then I bring the 5 here. So the 5 is the remainder. So I can write this function as x plus 5 over x minus 1. Okay, now... Uh, if I take the limit of this part only, just this part, as x goes to infinity, that's going to be 0, and I'm left only with x. So the line y equal x, that's going to be the horizontal, uh, the slant asymptote or the oblique asymptote of this. And uh, uh, if you graph this function as x goes to infinity, uh, either plus or minus infinity, the function is approaching to uh, line of y equal x. So this is line y equal x. And if you graph this function, at the very end, the function is tending to uh, the line y equal uh, x like this. I hope that you all find this helpful, and I wish you the best un until the next video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.